all-knowing and all-powerful, starting with the elderly wolf uncle chapter 38. Everyone was startled by this movement, suddenly quieted, and subconsciously gathered their eyes on the wall. The question mark on the wall was as bright red as blood, and the panicked eyes of everyone present were reflected in the same red. Only by answering the question correctly can you get out alive. All of you only have 60 seconds to answer the questions, otherwise. Hee hee, this building will be detonated. The strange voice sounded again, with a strange and sharp tone, but also very cold. Indifference to life. It was like a high god overlooking the ants on the ground, not caring at all about the lives or deaths of those present. Originally, some people thought of luck, guessing that this was just a prank. But when he heard this voice, Mo Lai felt instinctive fear. The owner of the voice. I'm not lying. If he wanted to, everyone in the building would be buried here. Also, don't blame me for not reminding you. Don't think about calling the police, or I promise that this building will be blown up before the police arrive. As soon as the strange voice came out, it instantly pierced the defense line in the hearts of many people. Everyone felt a terrifying shadow of death at this time, and death enveloped them. There is a dangling blade hanging overhead, which may fall at any time and take his life. Feel it. It's him. Riddler. Someone recognized this person, who had just killed six people in the elevator yesterday and collapsed to the ground. I don't want to die. Some people curled up and shivered. More people stared at the big bright red question mark on the wall, clenching their teeth and blinding. Full of doubts, the crisis of life and death, constantly spread and churn in everyone's hearts, stirring nerves. How exactly did the Riddler do this? Where did he hide the bomb? Bruce. Wayne's face was gloomy, his eyes scanning the hall back and forth, trying to find clues around him. No way. Our security technology is all Wayne groups. Harvey Dent said coldly. He didn't think the Riddler could easily hide a bomb. I don't think so, Bruce Wayne said quietly. Don't bother, he won't let us out. Based on Chen Tian's understanding of the Riddler, there is a high probability that even if he guesses the answer, the other party will not be able to release him. By this time, the participants in this terrorist attack are no longer alone. Back in the time when the Riddler, a guy with an antisocial personality, was ready to destroy Gotham. He has been on the internet, developing his own followers. Today, it is the joint efforts of that group of people that the current crisis has been created. Click. Chen Tian's words just fell. Suddenly, a thick pillar of light shone down, and a dazzling and blinding light enveloped him and Bruce. Look at these two and remember them. They are the heroes of Gotham recently, trying to save this hopeless city. Now let's see if they can really save you. Haha, <laughs> that eerie sound. Immediately introduced Chen Tian and the two to everyone, and when he finished speaking, he let out a mocking sneer. This tone falls. All the eyes at the scene fell on Chen Tian and them. The two people standing under the light were noticed by the audience. Dot dot dot. Does anyone else watch? With me, I will explode 20 chapters. Does anyone else watch? If not, I'll ask again later. If there are more than 30 comments, 5 more a day. More than 50 comments, 6 changes a day. Well, that's it. Tips for flowers are not necessary. Chapter 47. The answer to the riddle. The countdown will still go on. Inside the art gallery hall. The only light fell on Chen Tian and Bruce, and everyone's eyes around them were focused on them. The guy who hides his head and shows his tail and plays tricks, who are you? Bruce felt thousands of gazes, frowned, looked around and questioned. This is a difficult question to answer. The strange voice came out again from the sound in all directions of the hall, and slowly said, we depend on the perspective from which we look at food. For some, we are friends. To others, we are enemies. Speaking of this, the tone of that strange voice is suddenly high-pitched, full of some kind of madness. And for ourselves, why waste meaningless lives trying to answer? Perhaps, this is a meaningful life. The voice coming out of the stereo raised the pitch again, and questioned Bruce. You're a maniac wearing a mask now, trying to prove something. Or a selfless vigilante who decided to take on the burden after seeing Gotham sink into corruption and dirt. One after another, the words wearing a maniacal questioning tone came out from the surrounding speakers, and the sound wave rolled into the ears of everyone present. He also rolled towards the blues shop. Bruce narrowed his eyes slightly when he heard this, fell into silence and stopped speaking, as if thinking about what the other party said. Riddler, enough. Just when the owner of the strange voice looked excited. Chen Tian interrupted him directly with a cold voice, you'd better hurry up and say the riddle, otherwise you won't have a chance for a while. Little one, I almost forgot about you. Don't think that if you can solve my riddle, you can continue to guess my next answer. The voice in the stereo paused, and then laughed sadly. The guy who slaughtered more than two dozen lives in one night, where do you really think he is nobler than me? We are all the same kind of people. As soon as these words came out, the audience was in an uproar again. Horror appeared on everyone's faces. Shit. I just got so close to such a brutal guy. Quote. Damn it. Gotta stay away from this guy. Countless people cursed in horror. Those gathered around Chen Tian desperately retreated like a receding tide after hearing his identity. With a face full of panic, he left his side with Batman. Looking back at Chen Tian, his eyes were not looking at a human being, but at a demon crawling out of hell with horror. Huh. The owner of the strange voice, who seemed to be watching everything in the dark, laughed a little proudly when he saw this scene. It's just a pity. Chen Tian seemed completely indifferent to the reactions of those around him, and his handsome face was full of indifference. It was as if the rejection from so many other people was not worth paying attention to at all for him. Are you afraid, Riddler? Do you want to gain superiority and show your talent to the world? 